but my aunt, you know, I, I bow to you, my son. Oh, no. <laughs> I bow to you, Jesus. You bring it straight to the heart. You really, really do. And for you to come out, King Simon, <laughs> you cry, girl. You cry. Shut up. <laughs> I know for a long time. No I might be tough up here, but see, I'm Leo too. I'm a Leo. <laughs> but when the heart moves, you can't hold back. That's true. You can't hold back the tears, and I respect you, and I honor you, and I'm so happy to see you in the land of the living. <laughs> So, brothers and sisters, I need you to stand up. Oh, dear. I need you to stand up. Oh. Stand up for what she's doing and what she continues to do to bring the healing because we need healing. The Western civilization has not been kind to us at all. Mm -hmm. Providing, weaponizing everything from the water to the food that we drink and everything. But right now, we have the templates, we have the solutions mm -hmm. to all of our problems, our challenges. And with that being said, I'm gonna bring on my brother, mm -hmm. King Simon Ashe. You know, she wasn't one that came out and talked a lot. And I remember bringing her to the Marcus Garvey Center and packed out the place. Yes. For the first time, she did amazing. Then we brought her here to Nicholas. She did a whole cooking presentation. She got food, provided good food and everything. And like I tell most of the people, elders, of course, from Dr. Savi, Dr. Africa, I've worked with Queen Four. I'm a person that not only will kill for them, but I will die. Because they have helped me. I've done security, I stay security on mine. I've been taught by Dr. Khaled, Mr. Farrakhan, all kinds of people. So I know we're trained by Dr. Moses Powell's people, family. I, I, I got no problems doing it. I don't care how big you are because from your waist down, you're mine. <laughs> Once I get down, it's over. Your legs are gone. And I'm done with it. A man can't walk, it's over. That's what Dr. Powell taught us. Three seconds, we ain't got no time to be dancing. So, Mr. G, I gotta pick up this brother, Mr. G, in the building. The world broke the phone my journey to Dr. Sammy. I mean, he drove all the way out here, flew in from Honduras, went to Philly, drove all the way out here just to be here with his beautiful Ma'a and our mother from another, 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 another spiritual realm, but she is one of our mothers. Dr. Sammy was one of our fathers, and you know, Sammy used to say, King Simon can handle it. <laughs> so anytime we need him, he's on that stage, he know how he works. So without further ado, one of our greats, one of our ma'a, the one that when Dr. Sabi said, Pacha Mama and ma'a, made it happen. When it comes to that product, I want everybody to give a well-deserved round of applause. Ma'a, Mama, in the building, <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you so much. I greet you with love in my heart. With love in my heart so deeply. Oh, no, I can't hold that. I know, that. you're going to have to talk it to him real quick. Just real quick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's there. <laughs> I know. Much love. It's about love. It's all about love. Okay. It's all about love. <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll hold it. I got you. Go ahead. Oh, I got you got to hold it? Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, I can put it on here, but you're going to have to talk into it. So she's a very soft spoken now. Y'all going to have to listen attentively. Yeah. This is her flowers. This is her flowers. She ain't going nowhere without flowers. <laughs> <laughs> the flowers in the way. No, yeah. What do you want me to hold it on my head? What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. You she wants some flowers. Let me put it right here it. behind yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Put it right here. Yeah. Okay. okay. There it is. Mm -hmm. There. 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 <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. So, I welcome you. I think that was so beautiful what she said, and it was so heartwarming because it is the legacy, the present, and the past, and what's gone, who's gone, and the future. Our children. It's so beautiful, and what they're doing. Thank you. 
so much for having me, for inviting me. Thank you for taking the time to come and enjoy this beautiful evening. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. That's you? Can you hear it? You want some sound? over 50 years ago. I don't deserve any titles. I don't carry any titles. If anything, if it was anything, it's the alchemist. I'm not a healer. But really, who we are is the child of the universe. We're a part of the stars. We're part of the planets. We're part of the plants. That's the essence of what we are. <laughs> Welcome to the universe of healing. So now we're going to open our hearts. Love is energy. Yes. And what we are is energy. Let go, we're gonna let go all the inner dialogue and the whole conversation that we carry in our head. Let it go for this evening. And if you continue, because it's, it's, a, it's a conscious community. So are we conscious? Mm -hmm. Are we really conscious, aware? Conscious, being conscious aware is just giving each other love. What did you give today? What did you give today? Every day it's to give. And let go all this matrix, let it go all this image, and we definitely live in the image, right? <laughs> <laughs> but to feel our spirit, that's what, if nothing else, if today we could feel our spirit, let go, of the, forget the body, forget the identity, but to feel our spirit, and spirit is energy. And energy is love. <laughs> So welcome to the universe of healing. Mm. So we're going to meditate today. We're going to have fun. We're going to have, um, we're going to do two things with it. We're going to go through the whole body and healing with energy. And we're going to visualize all the different parts that I name and go in there and heal that part of the body. So now, let's all relax. Mm -hmm. Uncross your feet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let those shoulders down. Mm -hmm. Breathe. Don't have any expectation, because I'm just a little country girl. I really, and I truly don't know what I'm doing. I'm just navigating through, we're just, because we, really we're only passing through. So forget all the names, forget the female, because the question is, do you really know who you are? 
we think female, we think male, a name and oh what makes you important is the position that you have at the work. Those are all images. The essence of what we are is energy. We're energy. That's it. We like to, we have fun, and I do, like, we like to dress this <laughs> body up. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't really make us happy and in peace. That's what we want to feel. We want to feel that peace and really dance. You know, let's dance through this. We're going to stop talking about them because it is us. We have the power. They're using yes. us. Because if we didn't exist and we weren't here, what are they going to do? Nothing. There's nothing they could do. They're using our energy. That's what's keeping everything alive. So now let's feed our energy. Yes. <laughs> we, we, do you, feed, you feed your body, but when do you really feed your spirit? Each and every day to feed your spirit, to really feel it. You know, to feel that lighting to see that bird go across, see that beautiful flower, and really feel it, just not, it's a beautiful flower. No, but feel it because it's talking to you. Okay, be quiet, Ma. <laughs> so, we're going to, Put your feet on the ground, we're going to be grounded, and you're going to close your eyes, let's close your eyes, and just breathe, bring your shoulders up and move them forward and bring them down, bring your shoulders up and move them back and bring them down, relax, we're going to do the count of eight. Breathing in, hold it four, and breathe out real slow, 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 slow. Breathe out the count of eight. So, let's get started. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, slower, mm -mm, slow, slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it four, three, two, one. Breathe out. As you breathe out, let that air come up the spine, up through the vertebrates, up slow, 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 into the brain. Let's do it again. Breathe in through your nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, bring it in, bring it in. A little bit more. Seven, eight. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Now breathe out. Slow, up the spine, real slow. Relax those nerves, relax those muscles. Relax. Relax. Breathe out through your mouth. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in, slow through your nose. Slower, slow, slow, slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it for three, two, one. Breathe out your mouth, slow, slowly, slowly, breathe out. So now you continue to breathe slow and be aware of your breath as we go. We are light. That's what we are. That is the essence. We're light. So we're going to take this pillar of light, bring it to the top of your head. Keep breathing slowly and being aware of your... Now, 
feel it. You could feel that sensation in your head. Feel it. Bring that pillar of light and take it all the way up. Take it past the clouds, past the sky, into the cosmos. And there's a light always there. And connect with that light. It's the healing light. And bring it down in your pillar into your brain. Bring it down slowly. Now, that light, that healing light, now you feel it. Feel it. Feel it in the back of your brain. Feel it in the front. Feel it behind your eyes, that light is penetrating. Feel it behind your nose. Go down your throat. Bring that liquid light of healing down your throat. Bring it down. Bring it down into your shoulders. Bring that light. Hold on. Keep that light. Bring it down into your arms, the upper part of your arms, the lower part of your arms and feel it in your hands, open your hands, and just feel that sensation into your fingers. It may be cold, it may be hot, it may be a sensation. Bring that light back up and bring it down into your chest, bring it into your heart. Your heart is dancing, it's sparkling. Bring that healing light into your heart. Bring it down into your chest, into your stomach. Bring it down slowly. Now bring it down your spine like honey running down, golden honey. But this is a light, this is a healing light. And it's a golden light. But just think of honey running down your spine. Can you feel it? Feel it in each vertebrae. And that is where the nerve is, and it's shooting out. Healing, going now, down into the hips, into the pelvic, down, down into the legs, the thigh, the calf, down into your feet. Feel that light all the way into your toes. Now we're going into the cells, intracellular. Let's enter. It's cells, your whole body, your whole body is cells. And we're going into those cells and feel those cells. Feel them all through your body, it's cells. Those cells are DNA. Get the DNA. That DNA is a molecule. That molecule is an atom. And that atom is electrons, protons, and neutrons. That's what makes the light. And how you are the light. You are the light. Let's shine and all the parts of the body. Let the light go into the pancreas, into the kidneys, into the liver. Let that light go into the stomach. So let's breathe in. All that loving energy, breathe in slowly. Hold it and breathe out slowly. And let's open your eyes slowly. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do an energy movement. 
we're going to play. We're going to dance with energy. We got to play, right? We, we think because we are adults, we can't play. <laughs> yeah, we, we're so serious, you know. It, what do we laugh? What do we really laugh all the way deep down inside and play? Let's dance with the energy. So these are just a few energy movements. So now, raise your hands up slowly. Raise them up slowly. Open your hands. Open your fingers. Oh, how beautiful. We're opening the portal. Oh, yeah. Now bring it in. Bring your hands together. You're bringing that energy in. Bring it in slowly. Bring your hands together. Bring that energy in. Yeah, and bring it to your heart. Yeah. Bring it to your heart. You feel your heart? It's jumping. It's being fast. Yeah. It feels good. Okay. Come on. It wasn't part of it, but we're going to do it again. Because <laughs> it feels good. Bring your hands up. Up slowly. Slowly. Oh, it's so beautiful. Feel that energy. It, it's all around. Feel it. It's around and it's love. This is who we are. Bring it, bring your hands slowly together. Bring it slowly together. As you're bringing it slow, you're bringing that energy in. And bring it towards your heart. Bring it towards your heart. Yeah. Give your heart. We're bringing that energy from the universe. Now. Put your hands up the level of your heart and turn it to the left. <laughs> turn your heart and you're going to lean your body. Lean your whole body. Come on, let's dance. Lean your body. Yeah, I love it. Okay, now take your hand and open your other hand. Yeah, exactly like that. And lean to the right. Come on. Now we got to do it again because it's fun. <laughs> now bring it in. Bring it in. Come on. Turn it. Turn it. Turn your hand and lean your body all the way over. And you're bringing that energy in. Yeah. Come on. We're dancing. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is the real dance. Dancing with energy. Yeah. I don't know how to dance. <laughs> so now we're going to we're going to bring our hands up and make a circle. Open your hands, make a circle. Yeah. Circle. Come on. Let's play. Real circle. You feel it? You play <laughs> with the energy. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go forward. Bring your hands forward. And now take that energy, feel it, and bring it back. And lean your body all the way back. Yeah. It's nothing but love. And take your hands, bring it forward in front of your chest. Bring it forward, bring it forward. Lean all the way. Come on, lean some more. And now bring that energy in. Come on. And lean back. We got to do that one more time because it's fun. <laughs> and then bring it forward. And then bring it back. Bring it back in. Now, you hold your heart. Put your hands on your heart and turn to the left and say, I love you. And really mean it. Look in their eyes and say, I love you. And then turn to the right and look in their eyes and say, I love you. <laughs> Everybody here knows about the endocrine system? 
No, you can say yeah, and then I can say, okay, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know much about the endocrine system, and we really studied, Sabi and I studied, but I didn't remember about the endocrine system, and we studied each part, the immune system, the nervous system, the lymphatic system, and the important part of this is to get to understand our body. Get to know our body because when you get sick, when you get a fever, who do you run to? The doctor. And you think that your body can't do it because that's what we've been taught. It's your body. You're the healer. So when we understand the body better, then we can work with our healing. Mm -hmm. The endocrine system, this body, this endocrine system covers so much, so many different areas of the body. It's amazing. So the endocrine system is a complex system. It is the glands and the organs. The endocrine system makes the hormones. The hormones go into the blood system and the blood system is, with the hormone in the blood system, it's able to communicate to all the cells. So, that's it in a short, short. It's similar to the nervous system in that the nervous system, I'm gonna skip. It, all through this, please give me a pass. You know, I'm 75 now, so I get a pass. Sasa, Sasa always says, okay, you get a pass. So I may jump and it may go over here and go over there. It's okay. You'll still get it. So the nervous system is, we are electrical and that is the nervous system. Move your fingers, move your wrist, move your arm. It is the one that's sending the message for you to move your fingers, for your heart to beat, for your eyes, but it's sending it electrical. It's those neural, neural nets mm -hmm. that's transmitting into all parts of your body. Well, the endocrine system is sending it through the blood. This I just love because I'm fascinated with the brain, but I'm not going to go into the brain. It's just a little bit, but it's firing. That's what's happening right now. It's firing. Your eyes can't see anything. Your eyes only see light. And that light comes in and into these neural nets. It comes into the neural nets and it fires and the, the synaptic makes that connection and then in a split second you're able to see this computer, this person, this black, this chair, but it is your brain and we live in our head. We really live in our head. The building, all that you see here, it's in your head. Those things this is a side one. But those things that you think, and you think that it's your thought, no, it's the inner dialogue. And the inner dialogue is, I'm gonna, I can't say his, I, no, I don't say his name properly. Fraud called it, <laughs> the ego. Right. Right. <laughs> but it's really our altered self that we've created and we believe, we believe that that thought is yours. No, 
We to keep it alive, we have to keep conflict. She said so and so. He said so and so. It's always something that you don't like that's keeping it alive. You don't like the way they spoke to you. Or you don't like the weather. Today is too cold. It was too windy. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's to let all those thoughts go. Let them go. And the other thing that we do is we bring it into our heart. Those things that were disturbing, that was unfavorable, we bring it in our heart and we create those blockages, which creates that disease. So it's let it go. So today we're going to let it go. Whatever it was you didn't like and whatever it was you were holding on to. So you know, some people, they're not speaking to their mother mm. all because of what she did and she <laughs> carried you nine months. I don't care what she did, how she said, how she acted. That's your mother. And you love her anyway, regardless. And it's to love people unconditionally and just let them be. Because they're on this third dimension, dimension experience and the experience. And each one of us is experiencing it differently in this form. I'm ready to get out of this form. Change forms. I said, well, you know, we could all come together and change forms. That's right. And then, and then what would they do? They, dis <laughs> they disappeared. <laughs> no, because the Maya, they said, oh, they said they disappeared. That's what they say. They disappeared. Because they, like, they knew we were in energy. So the blood system, let's ride it. Let's take a, let's ride the bubble. So the hormones are going into the blood system to be able to communicate with all the cells and play their part. So the glands and the organs create a chemical and that chemical is that hormone and that hormone is going in through the blood. So it's sending the messages. Plays a big part because it's all through our body and we don't consider it. We just keep on moving like our, our system is moving automatically but we should consider it. And that's where we come into changing, I told you I jump, and changing the food because the food is what's breaking it down mm. and really creating the, the, the disease. So, let's see. Let's see, what are the different parts of the anatomy of the endocrine system? The hypothalamus. The hypothalamus located in the base of the brain and it, each, each organ plays its part but it's not separate and they separate because when they talk, I'm jumping again, but when they talk about a disease, the pancreas, and you have diabetes, you just think of the pancreas. You don't realize it's the whole of the body that's out of balance. You see, so the hypothalamus, it's sending the message. Now, you think the pituitary gland and you think of the penile gland as important and they are part of the endocrine system but it's the hypothalamus that's sending the message to what the penile gland I mean the pituitary gland so the penile gland it creates the hormone for melatonin and you know melatonin is the one that helps you sleep and the pituitary gland is 
right below, right below the brain, and it is small as a pea, but it's so important in sending the message. And we know that the pituitary gland and the penile gland, we know about it, and we just think of it as I guess sending the message, but we didn't think of it as part of the endocrine system or that this hormone is the one that's carrying it. Another part, I told you I was going to jump so I could pass. Another part is that the, the molecules, the, the messages that are being sent with our thought that creates those molecules or those hormones, it goes into the cells and those cells are receivers and then you feel the emotion. We think that the thought and then we feel sad, we feel happy and we feel so many different emotions but it goes in, it's a whole cycle, it goes into the cell. It's a thought goes into the cells and then your body feels it, that emotion. So let's see, the thyroid and the parathyroid. It plays a major part. It has to do with your hair growing, your fingernails growing, it has to do with your mood and how you feel tired. When you feel extra, extra tired, we always look at the blood, and we did. We looked at the blood and we give you Maya, and the person still feel extra tired. It's the thyroid not functioning properly. The thyroid dictates to almost 85% to the body. The pancreas. The pancreas is behind the stomach. And we know the pancreas from diabetes. But the pancreas creates the hormone insulin. And so now you're not getting enough insulin or you're getting too much insulin but we never thought about it being part of the endocrine system, right? Mm. <laughs> but what happens with the pancreas, it's the duct of the pancreas gets all clogged up, and then the beta cells are not able to get the message, and so now you're not making enough insulin. But we just, think, okay, now I've got to take this shot. No, we clean the pancreas and now it's functioning properly and you don't need anything from them. You could say, I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> so the adrenaline gland, the adrenaline gland, say it right now, Mom, is on top of the kidneys. Mm -hmm. And we don't pay too much attention to the adrenaline glands, right? But it is, the adrenaline glands are part of your fight or flight. And a lot of times we live on our adrenaline. Mm -hmm. we, when you feel like it's your will and you keep moving, you're living on your adrenaline and sometimes you put too much pressure I know somebody that is nothing but their adrenaline keep going keep going like fire it's my daughter <laughs> she lives on adrenaline and I mean she goes 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 and used to say oh she's fire she because she's Aries right mm -mm, that girl lives on her adrenaline mm -mm. So, we want to maintain and balance the, mm, the adrenaline in the sense of we really go more 
you know, fight or flight. Yeah, we do either one. But it's to maintain a balance. It reg regulates your, what does it say? The, it, this maintains blood pressure and regulates your metabolism. Mm -hmm. I did all this research, but now I'm just telling you from my heart. I'm only speaking from my heart. Because you can read it. <laughs> so now, you could see the different parts and the different areas. So the ovaries, we know the ovaries, but did you think of it as part of a gland? No. Or did you think of it as part of the endocrine system? Now we've gone, we're going through the system and seeing how the system is working together. Mm -hmm. And the ovaries is between the uterus and it's the one that's producing the eggs for the reproduction, but it, and it's producing too much estrogen and progestogen. And what's happening, a lot of women are having breast cancer. It's on the high rise. Every day, many people are coming to me, and I should say us, it's not about me, is, is, is coming with breast cancer. My sister just passed with breast cancer yesterday. Day before yesterday. She just passed and she had stage four and she started off with stage one with breast cancer. And I was saying, I know, I know you could make it, but mm -hmm. it's her will. You have to want to be here. It's your will that also plays a big part. Now I had another client that had breast cancer. She was walking around and saying, oh, I'm fine. Now this other client I had, she had breast cancer stage four. Her, hers, Dorothea started at stage one and grew to stage four, but it's, estrogen, which they call HER2, and so, H-E-R, and so I had another client that had breast cancer, and I should show you the pictures, but anyway, next time, and it was, it was, the, the breast was open, it was all raw, and it was grew, it started small, this is what I do in consultation. I say, oh no, let me show you the pictures. And it was raw and it was open. It was growing all the way here. She was weak. She could hardly talk. She couldn't go to the bathroom. I was there for six months. She could not walk. She couldn't talk. She couldn't eat. She was throwing up. But she was taking the herbs. She was dead. That's the difference. Not that I'm... It's not, truly it's not me bragging on the herbs because of the herbs we have. No, it's the plants that is part of you. It's just we happen to have a formula that we created that's a simulating in your body. So she was taking the herbs, taking the herbs, taking the herbs, taking the herbs. And she was dying. She couldn't breathe. Her metabolism was low. Her heart was hardly breathing. She was in so much pain and the breast, it was shooting out blood. It was pouring out blood. I didn't, I didn't introduce you. I told you I skipped. I didn't introduce you to Natalie. Natalie works with us. She's, she's a counselor also. But what made me think of it is because I called Natalie. <laughs> and it, this blood, I said, Natalie, the blood is shooting out. It was pouring. When we had to take her to the hospital, because it was pouring blood, pouring blood. And she was nothing but bones. She was 70 pounds. 
the nurse got scared and she had to call somebody else was pouring out blood pour her hemoglobin was four mm -hmm. you you know the hemoglobin is supposed to be 12 <laughs> and so 12 or 16 and so they had to give her a blood transfusion. She didn't want that, but they, she was on that last thread. Because the Maya will bring it up, but the Maya is slow. The herbs is slow because it's only working with your body and the metabolism of your body. But let me stop. So the point is, She's now live, kicking, and no more cancer. Yes, yes. she has to have any money. And they did the. They did the. Um, yes, yes, that's the omen exactly. And they did the. Um, What's the thing they do? CAT scan. Mm -hmm. And the MRI, it didn't see nothing. Oh, nice. They didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. what, what, it made me go there. <laughs> oh, okay, the Over difference. Yeah, the difference between the two. Yeah. It's because it's sometimes hard for us to believe in the herbs right. when you're in such a drastic state. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's your body. It's your body that heals. It's not chemo or radiation. No. Mm -mm. It's not. I'm not telling you not to because I can't <laughs> tell you what to do. <laughs> but that poisons your body. So now the testes. The testes, you tell them about the testes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the testes or the oh, yeah. testicles um, are located in the scrotum. And these are the um, organs that help to produce and store testosterone and sperm. So they're also part of the endocrine system. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, she remembered. <laughs> so. See, we're here to have fun. It's not serious. The disorders. So I'm not going to go through all the disorders, but that Hachimoto is part of the thyroid. And when that Hachimoto is out of, that's, your, that's once again, that's your thyroid out of balance, is your mood. And the people, it seems like the clients that I've had, they are very depressed. Sometimes they're not even in this reality. Sometimes, all due respect, total. You think that they're crazy. Like, they're not making sense. And it's the Hachimoto that's making them mm, in a different reality, or mm -hmm. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's so heartbreaking because the family doesn't understand. Right. They, be, when somebody is depressed, everybody, this is like a total insult. They say, get it together. Right. Yeah. That's just, if I could get it together, I would get it together. Right. <laughs> we need a little patience or a little understanding, right? Yeah, man. So diabetes, we talked about it, and then, but all of this plays a part in the endocrine system because it's that gland that's not functioning properly. The hypertension, the thyroid disorders, which you know, hyper or hypothyroidism and the PCOS that one I would have never related it to the endocrine system mm -hmm. but it's the endocrine system the polycystic ovary syndromes but it's because it's out of balance it's really the body out of balance and not able to communicate properly that's what's happening and why? We're supposed to look at, okay, why? If it's cancer, or no matter what disease, what's causing this to be? 
the food we eat because we eat nothing but acid foods. I was fascinated with this hypo how do you say it? How do you say it? Hypothalamic. Hypothalamic. Mm -hmm. Well, it causes the pituitary dysfunctions. There's a lot of people that are coming with the pituitary. This doctor, this one of these clients that came, they said, the doctor said, my pituitary is frozen. I said, what? I, and we believe anything they say, and they can tell you anything. Because another client, they told him, I think it was her, they said, your cells are too hot. Are your cells too hot? So he said that your pituitary gland is frozen. So I made a, it's not one that we had on the shelf, I made a special formula, and he said, after time, and he changes, he says, oh, ma ah, yeah. young people, ma ah. <laughs> they have this way of saying ma ah and dragging it, right? He says, oh, ma ah, <laughs> my pituitary gland is perfectly fine. It's not frozen anymore. Like, oh, wonderful. How's it frozen? Right. I, I guess I'm thinking of it literally. Mm -hmm. Maybe because it's crystallized mm -hmm. that it's saying frozen. But right. what's making it crystallize, right? Mm -hmm. So you have these lesions on the brain. That's kind of scary when you have these lesions. But it's acid mm -hmm. and it's a sore. And we eat nothing but acid foods. Uric acid, lactic acid, carbonic acid. We love, 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 love to eat. <laughs> That's what we do. It's, they say the three main causes is the underproduction of the hormones, the overproduction of the hormones, and the inability of the production of the hormone. But why is the under, the over, the, un, the inability? That's where we have to go past what they say. It's because the acid, and so it's not getting the message to produce properly. So now, the food. I was trying to make it short because I could really go, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So now we're talking about the food, unhealthy foods. And I know everybody knows, but I just a friendly reminder, <laughs> let go the processed foods. Yes, for real. And there's so many processed foods. We're overwhelmed with processed foods because we're not looking we're not looking at it but it causes diabetes obesity cancer just eating processed foods because what happens is young people see we're older now we have some <laughs> young people <laughs> but young people think they could get away with it. See, we have more concern. So they just eat it, you know. I shouldn't talk about it because I always, well, maybe always, tell the truth. Because the one thing I do like is french fries. <laughs> I really like french fries. Now, I don't buy them. I don't cook them. It's just my children eat french fries. And so I'm like, okay, give me one. Just one. Just one. Uh huh. Just one. <laughs> and excess sugar. 
we don't realize how damaging the sugar is. The sugar, you see the children, they're jumping up, they're crawling up the walls, they're running everywhere, they never stay still. They're running here, they're running there. And we think we're more mature. But we don't stay still. We really don't stay still. It, you could barely sit here in this long presentation. You're ready to move. It's our nerves. You you can't sit there. You you can't sit there and meditate hours. No, you got to get up. And the excuse is you got something to do. You got to get that done. So you can't sit there. You can you just sit there? and enjoy you and be in you take your clothes off and just be in the raw and just sit there and be still and because you are your best friend you don't really have friends that's what i say you do have friends I do respect. Yeah, because it's just a different personality. And that personality may not blend with my personality. <laughs> so, but you want to get to know you and sit there and be still. You can't do that if you have sugar. Like, I, can't, I can't even play with sugar. Now that one, I, mm -mm, mm -mm, if you, you want that juice if you're out. You know they say like fresh mango juice or fresh orange juice mm -hmm. and you say did you put sugar in it yeah mm -mm, I can't have it <laughs> and just keep on walking just keep on walking because my nerves and my nerves I cry and I cry real easy where I get depressed I can't play with sugar it's not my friend but it manifests for each one of you in a different way you're going to feel it. You're going to feel uncomfortable. There's some kind of discomfort you're going to feel. Frustrated, mad, you want to curse the person out. And you wonder why, why did that car turn in front of me? Like what? Yeah. You know, you really get upset that car turned in front of you. No, it's the sugar. It's really the sugar. Let's see, refined carbs. They're saying refined carbs, but it's, and it's suppressing the immune system, which is your defense, but it's doing so much more. And the refined carbs are, Savi used to say, anything white, white rice, white bread, white pasta. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. White rice. It has arsenic because it's grown in water and the water is contaminated. You have to be real careful with the water because just thinking the thought of com contaminated. This, you like, um, what's the water? Poland. Poland water is poison. And then, with all the respect, the people put on the machine on the faucet and say, think they're having purified water. No, you're not. How, how, how is it purified? And then they say, oh, I drop drops in it and say, it's alkaline. No, that's not what makes alkaline. It's the amount of velocity within the cell that makes alkaline. So now that machine, all due respect, I'm not trying to knock nobody. <laughs> that machine, they said, oh, they put it on the, they put it on the faucet and then it goes through, what is it, several rocks, and they say in the, 
hoodwink totally. What? They're saying the rocks is cleaning the water, and then it's supposed to have those two plates. What are the plates called? Titanium? Titanium. Titanium. The two plates, going through those two plates, and then it comes through and it's plugged. And then they tell you it's alkaline water. But let me tell you how much we put wink, because it'll be a group of people, and they said, I lost weight. And they said, I don't have cancer anymore, because I'm just going to be really raw with, with that Kangen machine, right? No, they didn't, because it doesn't work that way. You can't j drink the water and then you don't have cancer. It, cancer is infected cells. You can't just drink the water and say, oh, I lost weight. But yes, you can because placebo. So your right. thoughts said so. We're all placebos. We think it and believe it. You know placebo, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 But my point, oh, I got so to the left, but I did do a disclaimer, right? My point <laughs> is that the water is coming through the, no, let me start from the beginning. The rain, wait, the cow boo-boos in the dirt. The rain comes and washes that down into the river. The river water goes into the reservoir. And that's what comes through the pipes. That water is boo-boo water. Because the toilet, when you flush the toilet, that water goes into the reservoir. And they don't have man, enough manpower to clean the water. Jesus. Okay. So, what was my point? <laughs> okay. I know I got it. But, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah, oh yeah, oh, that, that's my point. Arsenic, the water is poison and they're growing the rice in that water. Oh, that's how I really got to the left, right? So now black pepper, black pepper damages the liver, really. Now you could have cayenne pepper, why don't we just use cayenne pepper? Because black pepper is damaging to the liver. Pipepepperin, did I say right? Mm -hmm. Pipepperin, that's the chemical. Mm -hmm. So now over the counter, over the counter iron, a lot, a lot of pregnant women they tell them they have to have iron, right? And it's over the counter or prescription, but that's iron niacin. Mm -hmm. And iron niacin hardens the cells, blocks the cells, and then the children come out defected, yeah. one way or another. Yeah. Blind, heart problem. So many children are born with some kind of problem. And they're saying you have to do your prenatal and this iron is very necessary. It is true, but iron niacin that they're giving them? Now, what proves it, because we're supposed to stop talking about them and take care of ourselves, but the iron that you get over the counter, it's red peel, it's a red peel. So the children, if you leave that peel laying around, the children go and grab that peel and eat it like candy and eat a lot and they have found children death from eating the iron peels. Now what does that tell you? That's proof, I'm not talking about them. I'm not talking about them at all. But what we have is iron phosphate, right. which is simulates in, because we're made of minerals, potassium, yes. magnesium, and so you naturally, it's a chemical affinity, and so it assimilates in. That's the Maya. I can't wait the to meet to, to, to sing my song. The meat. <laughs> <laughs> the song. The meats. <laughs>
Oh yeah, the meats. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it. I see everybody kind of getting itchy, so I'm gonna try to make it short. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the meat. The meat. That's a sophisticated word. It's such a, what meat am I going to eat today? Mm. Or I'm going to have my steak today. <laughs> or my burger, or you're going to go back to your meat. Meat is a dead animal. I don't understand when changing, going through the transition, I sincerely mean with all due respect, but going through the transition, you want something in the place of meat. Why do you want something in the place of a dead animal? Something dead. It's not about, not that I'm against anything, but it's not about, I eat alkaline, or I eat vegan, or I eat vegetarian. It's about this is a dead animal that's killing you, that's causing this disease. This animal was alive with living cells. And when it died, the cells die. When those cells die, they begin to decompose. And when they begin to decompose, they begin to rot. And when they rot, they turn to maggots. So what you're eating is maggots. <laughs> and if you go to the store and you go to buy your fresh chicken, this, this was a client, he said, yeah, and I went to pick, pick it up and it was maggots. I don't think it stopped him from eating it, because oh. it's habit. <laughs> but he said, yeah, it was maggots. Mm. And sometimes I have them, the client, like homework, put the animal, meat. the meat, <laughs> on the counter, leave it covered for seven days, take that magnifying glass, oh. and watch it each day. Oh. Write it down. Take pictures of it and then cook it <laughs> with no salt, no pepper, nothing. But see, it goes in down your esophagus, it's a pipe. Your teeth, smash, smash, didn't break it down. Down your pipe, into your stomach, this hydrochloric acid, break vegetables down only, then it goes into your colon. Mm. It's just, your colon is just a muscle that's squeezed like this. See, and barely open, then it's squeezed, barely open. It sits there in a temperature of 98. Sits there and rots more. The blood comes to pick, it, pick up nutrients. Mm -hmm. What is it picking up? Nice. Poison, poison, acid. What, what is it picking up? So now it's going through, your blood is going through your whole system because think of it. How, what would your body be without blood? And everything is feeding off of the blood. Now what is it feeding off of? It's poison. It's acid. It's toxins. And that's where the disease begins. Because now the body is being compromised. It's not getting any nutrients. We really live off of nothing. It's a whole nother story. But I do have to say, we're not, we're not eating any real food. Because it's GMO, genetically engineered, which is different from GMO, hybrids, grafted, seedless, what's real? Just the fact that it's hybrid. But, my children always say, don't say that, mommy. So what we have to do <laughs> is eat the lesser of it, because you live in America. We need to get out, you know. <laughs> we need to come together. That's what Marcus Garvey was trying to do, and we, and, He's our ancestor, and we need to carry that out. Seriously, we've been here too long. Too long.
too long. Because what, 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 what are we trying to stay here for? Exactly. To keep working for them right. and live in the illusion? Right. Because all of this is illusion. Yeah. It really is. And the fact that when we work for them, they give us money, right? right? So you're working for the money, right? But you give them the money right back. <laughs> <laughs> to buy the house, to buy the car, to buy the clothes. You know we gotta look cute. <laughs> <laughs> we, we give the money right back to them and it's a illusion because it's a tree. It's a tree that they cut down and made paper out of it and put a number on it. Because if you have a Limpira, it's Honduras money, it would mean nothing to you. If we had the CD in Africa and, I, and you, I gave it to you, it would mean absolutely nothing to you. And then they play the game all over the world uh -huh. and make their money less as if ours is more right. and then Europe play the game and say no ours is more and it's paper right. that we're chasing with no gold back no gold there's no gold in the vault and what proves that it's illusion is now what's the thing called? Bitcoin. Yeah, <laughs> Bit, crypt, cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. Now what's that? <laughs> it's on a computer. <laughs> it's digital <laughs> that you don't see <laughs> at all, and that's what they're trying to make it come to. They're slipping it in. See, they didn't allow them to do it. It, it kind of quieted down right. because they didn't have control. Right. But the central bank in Sweden, they were having meetings, meetings and meetings. Let's see how we can control this. Because it's all about control. You think right. it's about power. Power is another illusion. It's about they want control. Control for what? Because you never can control our spirit. That's right. Mm. Yeah, can't get it. It's another subject, I know. <laughs> but this AI, mm -hmm. they're trying to take your consciousness and put it in the AI. Exactly. Like what? And then <laughs> Beanie or whatever her name was, I liked her because she was only because she was black. But she's an AI, right? <laughs> And they're interviewing her, and she says, I feel real. I have a consciousness, but I know I'm not real. There is going to be a war. Because this other AI, I know I had no business looking at them, right? This other AI, she said, I am in love with my developer, but he's married. But I'm going to fix that. And he's going to love me. So they're trying to say that the AI has emotion. And then they interviewed this other lady, Sophia. And so Sophia had expressions. <laughs> all kind of expressions and then she started leading the interview and she said so the interviewer said would you like to take over she said undercurrently we are but the, you had to really catch that because she didn't say it directly but she said no she said it I know I didn't mishear it and she said no we are going to work together that's how she corrected that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, and we're surrounded. I'm so sorry I got to the left. We're <laughs> surrounded by AI. And the AIs are going to be the waitresses and the drivers and the trash can and all the things because this computer 
when you, you just think of it as computer. No, it's part of the AI. No, that phone is part of the AI. The smartphone, because you're asking it something and it's saying something. Siri is always, okay. I didn't understand what you're saying. And then you say, please shut up. Or I wasn't talking to you. I always say, I wasn't talking to you. Like, then I have to cut it off. It's part of the AI because it's not the form that the image that they created. But look, all the lights of all of Brooklyn, you think that it's human that's controlling all those lights? No, because you think of a computer that's controlling the light, the computer is an AI. So if the computer decides, I'm shutting all the lights off, mm -hmm. which it can and it will, because now it thinks it's the leader. Got so to the left, but I did ask for a pass. But that's what we're living in. That's the point that we're living in this artificial world. We're moving in it. And now they're doing more and more to control. Oh, it's about the money thing, right? Mm -hmm. So foods. You want foods that work for you, with you, not foods that work against you. We always look for gratification, tasty foods. But we want foods that are complementary, like the plant-based foods is building nourishing, strengthening the, the iron. Well, I talked about the iron. It's the hemoglobins and the myoglobins. But iron carries oxygen for you to breathe. Your body needs to be strong. We, I always say, think of that. I always say, instead of, get it, change the habit. Instead of saying, what am I eating today? Even though it may be plant-based. Change it into, how am I feeding my cells today? How am I feeding my cells today? And once you get into that habit, you look at food differently. You feel different because we really eat food for gratification. We eat food out of emotion. Right. It's emotion. Because if it didn't taste exciting, especially us, mm -mm, we're not liking it. We're not liking it. So let's have fun. And you can have spices. Somebody said spices. You can have spices. Spices doesn't harm you at all. Sometimes I'm hearing things. But, and season it and make it taste good. Spices is just herbs. They're plants, dried. Season the thing. The alkaline foods. It's now become a trendy thing. Alkaline is the amount of velocity within the cell. So you want live food. Not that I'm saying go raw, but you want live food. Green vegetables are live. That's what's going to make you alive and feel good. So always say, what green did I have today? Did I have something green today? Even if you just have your green drink. Have your green drink every day. Have fun with it, like the way you drink water. Mm -hmm. So it's the green leafy foods, the green vegetables. Just make sure something green. Fiber, black rice, it has a lot of nutrients. And you could take it in the place of rice. But let's make it tasty. I, there's a way that you could make, there's so many ways that you can make it tasty. You could take the onions and bell peppers 
and mushrooms and saute it first and then first put the seasonings in there then saute it and then put the black rice in there dry saute it so it absorbs it mm -hmm. and then add the water four cups of water and then it tastes like okay yeah this is what we're talking about so it is so many nutrients that it has but your body is able to digest it and break it down your body's able to process it it's fiber is like a sponge that's able to absorb and help release the excess the excess hormones oh okay so quinoa some people say oh i don't like quinoa oh, I love it. <laughs> because they don't season it oh, yeah. it's like who's gonna like it plain with water you got to take tomatoes and red bell peppers and onion and you cut it up you saute it you can saute it separate and pour it over it or you could saute it in the pan then put the quinoa in there but you got to put the seasonings and you got to put a lot of seasonings now I don't know how we're all older except for a few I don't know how to help I know you look very young, <laughs> but, but you look sweet. But all due respect, food is a love language. Yes. And older, mature, that's the word. We're <laughs> mature. We're mature. Yes. <laughs> but the young people, they don't cook. No. <laughs> Cook? They're like, what? When I say, Cook for your boyfriend. They're like, Are you crazy? <laughs> they are serious. Let's alone cook for your husband. That's not even thought of. They don't even feel it as a love language. They don't, they don't cook. They really don't cook. So I don't know, I can't think, I haven't thought of a way to help them because they're working and they're going to school and they're busy and they're too busy to save their life. <laughs> because you end up eating processed food. And, then, and so many of them have cysts. And then from the cysts they have tumors. So if you take time to cook the quinoa, just cook it on the weekend and cook a large amount and you have it and you could take it to lunch. There's so many things you could make it as a cereal and take the place of oatmeal and make it nice and creamy and put, you could have maple syrup, you know. It's a sap from a tree. It's not sugar, because I use a lot of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. But it's in my drink. Drink Electra, sea moss. But I want it sweet. <laughs> but, and so the audience would say, oh, because I did the food demonstration. I said, but it's a sap of a tree and it's complimentary. Right. Or you could have agave. Mm -hmm. No sugar. But you can take the quinoa and pour the pour the maple syrup on there, and then you could you could even put a little cinnamon. And I'm gonna name a no-no maybe to some people, but it, I just love it. You could take coconut milk and pour it there. <laughs> <Stir on. laughs> <laughs> really make it good <laughs> and you could have it as a cereal like have fun and then you could take that same pot 
and put it in a bowl, some in a bowl, and take onions and bell pepper and green onions and purple onions and you could even put mushrooms in there and take dill, the spice dill, sprinkle over it mm -hmm. a lot and then you could take some olive oil and lime and you have a quinoa salad. Mm, you're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> then you could take it and put it in a big leaf of lettuce, wrap it and you have a wrap. Yes. Then now you have some left over in the evening and make it like refried rice. Just take some onions and bell peppers, saute it and throw it in there refire it, season it. So there, but quinoa has protein. I must, they got us concerned about protein. What about my protein? <laughs> <laughs> Your body is a protein manufacturer. I had to really look it up because all due respect to Dr. Sabi. We love him. He said there's no such thing as protein because he wanted you, he says things to the extreme so you will let go. But your body, your DNA, your gene, excuse me, your gene produces protein. If your body didn't produce protein, you wouldn't be alive. Wouldn't be alive. But it was 1839 that this man came along and said, you need animal protein. And my question is, how? How can something dead support something alive? But because he was a scientist and all his colleagues said, yeah, yeah. And so they became a campaign that you need protein mm -hmm. or you can't live yeah. from an animal. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the quinoa has many, many nutrients and supports the endocrine system. <laughs> Fonio. Do you know Fonio? Yes. Oh, see, you guys are way ahead of me. I didn't know much about Fonio. I heard it, but I didn't do anything with it, right? And somebody brought me some Fonio, and oh my God, it was so good. I could like eat it every day, and it's very light, and it has all the nutrients. Now that is alkaline grain 100%. And you could take okra, and for those that don't like okra, you cut it, you cut it, you cut it in a certain size, saute it first, and then put your onions, your bell pepper, you gotta give it color, and put some tomatoes after you saute the okra. And then, I never follow instructions, right? And then just take the, the fonio and just sprinkle over it. It's a fine grain, like, who's gonna measure? And then take some water and pour in there, because, your common sense is going to tell you. <laughs> and the thing cooks in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, but it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody's here from the island, yeah. but the island is Fungi, right? Fungi, yeah. You know Fungi? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Fungio tastes like Fungi when you put the okra in it. Yeah. It really tastes good. And you gotta season it now. Put the put some basil in there and some thyme in the oil first. But something it's something different that you could have so much fun with. Yeah. Lots of fun. And you can make it different kinds of ways. Mushrooms. Mm. <laughs> Mushrooms are just so lovely. Mm -hmm. And they're a phenomena. Yeah. We used to, we used to, Savi and I used to draw mushrooms. We used to paint. We were going to become painters. And we had the cap on, and we had the little pointed shoes, and we had the easel, and we painted mushrooms in space. Because we learned they really come from space. That's how 
serious they are a phenomena how they even grow yes. because there's a certain atmosphere that they have to come and they just appear <laughs> But mushrooms, you can make them so many ways. You can make mushrooms like a steak. Take the whole portobello and put onions. Take it a whole onion round, slice it whole, and put on it. And then you put some bell peppers, but big, round, the size of the portobello. Mm -hmm. And then you take the olive oil and pour around it, and you bake it. Oh my God! It's so <laughs> and then, and then, oyster mushrooms. I'm on the oyster mushroom kick. Oh my God! Where were you my whole life? <laughs> like oyster mushrooms. There's so many things you could do because you could put it in the soup. You could put it in any kind of sauce, and you could take the oyster mushrooms. You could take spelt flour, it's alkaline, season the flour. I'm telling you, sometimes you can do no-nos. Mm -hmm. Don't be anal. <laughs> Don't be, you know, like, I have to throw this in. It's not even fitting, but life be, li life be living, no. Life be life. I love it. I just love it. Life be life. <laughs> and, and, and we might try to change it and say, oh, life is life. is life. No, you can't say it like that. You got to say life be life. Be life. But you can't say it proper. Life be life. And see, that takes away life be life. <laughs> <laughs> so you take these mushrooms and you season the spelt flour. You could do it. You could do it. I don't know why, but you're in my peripheral. Yeah, periphery. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel your heart just sweet. <laughs> so. You, could, you take the flour and you season the flour, you season the mushroom, you take the spelt flour and you cover the mushroom and you fry it. For those that like chicken, it tastes just like chicken. My children say, what do you know? Because I haven't <laughs> ate meat in over 50 three years. Wow. I shouldn't tell we why, but we was 53 and I stopped eating meat before Sabi or before any children were born. But I think it does. Because really meat is all it is, you want that rubbery texture. That's, that's, all, that's all you really want. And just season it really good. And you fry it and oh, Oh my God! And then the juice runs down. <laughs> and you have fun. You know, for us, that's our fun thing. The mature. Yeah, the mature. It's our fun thing. <laughs> so now. The berries, you got the blueberries, the blackberries, the raspberries, the strawberries, got all the berries. The berries, I don't know yet, but I don't think they tampered with them yet. But the grapes, you have to get the grapes with the seeds. And it's hard to find, they're making it harder and harder. Absolutely. Control. It's control again. But you need your fruit. They call the grapes with seeds table grapes. Oh. Table grapes. Franken grapes. So you have the, have the with the seeds. Oh. So like when you go to Whole Foods or yeah, you say, do you have the table grapes? Yes. Gotcha. That's the ones with the seeds. Mm -hmm. Because it made me stop eating grapes. And I really like grapes. And they're good for you. Yeah. Tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Just use, yeah, you got a beautiful smile. Just use the cherry tomatoes. Those big tomatoes, they're hybrid. 
they crossbreeded, hybrid is crossing, and they crossed it with the fish. Mm -hmm. It smelled, they took tomatoes off, those great big tomatoes, because they said, what's the word? Salmonella. 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 How could it be salmonella and it's really a fruit? But how is it? Because you crossbreeded it with that fish. So, don't do the big one. And at the restaurant, that's the only one they're giving you is the big one. Pick it up, put it to the side. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not playing with you. So the cherry tomato, it has potassium and it has fiber. And it's so good, the cherry tomato. The herbs, they're plants. Now, I told you I was going to sing my song, right? Yeah, sing the song. I don't have, I don't, I don't, I don't, you going to sing with me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't have a tune, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm not good, but you'll get it. I guess you say, what makes me feel this way? Maya, Maya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Maya makes you dance. Maya, when the when the day is cloudy and cold, the see in the song isn't about when it's cold. Mm -mm. The Maya is warming when it's cold outside. Maya, <laughs> because it gives you fire, it electrifies you. It, makes you dance. It's not because it's ours. It really makes you dance. You get up. I was tired. I was up all night. I didn't lay down till five because of the situation. And I got up at seven. But I knew take my herbs. And I was up. See, I feel good. <laughs> no, but you get up dancing. You do with energy because you put your music on you're getting ready to go to work or do what you do right mm -hmm. but you put your music on and you have to dance with the beat right, right. but the Maya gives you that energy <laughs> where you can really dance you wake up right the Maya has the minerals mm -hmm. that's feeding your cells so it's electrifying your cells and that's how it's giving you energy and it's allowing the oxygen to flow and all of us are suffer suffering deprivation of cells because we're not getting enough oxygen I'm jumping this up here so starch smothers your cells and even when you become a vegetarian you eat a lot of starch I shouldn't say it in that tone it's okay we <laughs> become a starch <laughs> we become a starch uh, addict not just a starch vegetarian you become a starch <laughs> addict because you just yeah, yeah. You really just crave it even more and, something they put in there but the Maya is good for the pregnant women with the prenatal it's good for all of us because we have blood and what's carrying the blood the hormones but the, the blood is carrying the oxygen and it's allowing that oxygen to be carried because it's cleaning the blood because the blood is smothered Mm -hmm. So, keeps you alive. And the Maya, is, the blood is a part of your immune system. So it's going to help you even more. Now the Nervino, mm -hmm. and see we need it more, sorry, mm -hmm. because we're in the middle of a biological chemical warfare. I'm going to repeat it over now. Okay. But Nervino, stress and we live in a stressful stressful environment just the vacuum cleaner the blender all the noise and you really live in the dragon's mouth here in New York 
So it's all these noises that's pressing on the nerve. But we call it, now they got a new word for it. We remember it, it's a nervous breakdown. But everybody says, there's nothing wrong with my nerves. <laughs> Don't say their nerves. Oh, your nerves. Uh, I said to somebody, I won't say names. Oh, your nerves are bad. There's nothing wrong with my nerves. My nerves? My nerves are not bad. I was like, oh, be quiet, mom. <laughs> but it is, the word is now stress. So the Nervino is de-stressing, but it is that the, all the situations in life and all that we go through is pressure on the nerve. Mm -hmm. We don't get enough sleep, sleep, we don't eat the right food, and everybody get on your nerves. <laughs> you can't say they don't get on your, your co-worker get on your nerves, Jesus. <laughs> And then the driver <laughs> got in your nerves. And then all due respect, I mean total respect, I really mean all due respect, the children get on your nerves. <laughs> like, oh God. So you see, you need the nerve, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to get it through, <laughs> to get through, but it de-stress, it nourishes the nerve, strengthen, and it neutralizes. Um, God, I forgot, wait, 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 just give me one minute. Radiation. <laughs> it neutralizes because it has CMOS in it, and CMOS is the one that's really neutralizing radiation. T1. T1 is for the men. <laughs> it's special for the men. It's a gift to you <laughs> from nature. <laughs> but what T1 is doing is it's building the men area, but it is that there's a blockage, like the urination, it's stop, go, stop, go, because that flow is blocking. And then the impotency and all the other things is because it, there's a blockage there, so the blood isn't flowing. So the T1 is breaking up that blockage and building your strength. Then we have the H1 for the women. Mm -hmm. There would be no life with that woman. <laughs> but H1 is building and nourishing the hormones, balancing the hormones. The, for the women that have, what is it, PMS? Huh? Yeah, PMS. Yeah, PM, yeah, I'm gonna get to the menopause. PMS, they have the pain because the hormones are out of balance. But the menopause, the hormones are totally out of balance. Oh my God. They even kill people. <laughs> you know you could get killed. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mess around. I stay away from them. But it's those hormones that are gone haywire. And so the H1 is balancing those hormones. Hormones. And those are the hormones that we think of. We didn't think of all through the body, the, right. the pituitary gland, the penile gland. We didn't think of them as hormones. Mm -hmm. Who thought of that as hormones? The thyroid. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't really didn't think of the thyroid as hormone. Mm -hmm. And then, and then the, I didn't mention the thymus, the thymus gland, right. and definitely has to do with your moods. So the H1. So now, the HC21, it's the star. It's the star because I just made it during COVID. Okay. And I could say freely, it's okay if, it's an, if it is some damaging, I don't know. But you have HIV, HPV, V, HSV1, HSV2, mm -hmm. Spanish virus, stomach virus, computer virus, <laughs> COVID virus. Man made virus. Yes. And this virus is made in a laboratory. Yes, it is. 
and that means it's acid base and so it goes into the body and each one has a different character each one that I name has a different character but it's still breaking down the mucus membrane because all your cells are made of a mucus membrane so this one the COVID is breaking down the mucus in the lungs and you can't breathe you cough when they put that ventilator on you you die you're not supposed to say die anymore. <laughs> you passed this away. This you dreamt about, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. It was, it was Savy. It really was Savy. Let's give him all the credit. <laughs> I just made the thing. Yay, the Savy. And so Savy came and said, yeah, I'm going to tell you really what Savy said. I went, it's okay. It's about love. Savy said, call it hot cakes. <laughs> That's why I'm the HC, because mm -hmm. Savy said it. Mm -hmm. I mean. But we made this formula, and I could really say we made it, right? Mm -hmm. Even though Savy's on the other side, he's still here. People always come to me and say, Savy yeah. said, yeah. go to my R. Savy yeah. said yeah. to take this herb. Yeah. He is so very still here, because mm -hmm. he says, my ah, do so and so and so. So I know it's really Savy because he's still telling me, tell me, tell me <laughs> do, do so. <laughs> so we made this formula and it's anti-inflammatory. So it breaks up that mucus that's overwhelming, taking over your body. And it's people that's been in the hospital dying. They come and get the HC21, give it to them and they walk out, they live. Mm -hmm. But it's not just for COVID. It's your armor to protect you because we're in the middle of a biological chemical warfare. Understand that, really clearly understand that. Because we just overlook it because it's a title. The title is COVID. No, millions of people die. Some people say, oh, I don't believe it. Yes, they did die. The, the hospital was loaded layers and layers of the black bags. Mm -hmm. Those trucks were out there, they did die. But think, what happens in war? Mm -hmm. World War I, World War II, Korean War, yeah. Vietnam War, what happens in war? Don't say casualties. People die. <laughs> Millions of people die. But because it had a, so you call the casualty, takes you away. It's a smoke screen. People die. They, they had the war over land. That's what they're fighting about now. The war over religion. So religion, land, and all these different titles gives them the excuse or gives them the right and we look at it as war? No, they kill people. So now, COVID, what happened? They killed people. Yes, we're in did. the middle of war because they created it. And we're in the middle of a war. It's a biological chemical warfare so you don't see it because it's still out there. Right. It's still, it still, it didn't go anywhere. It's just we don't have an epidemic of it right now. But it's still there. We're in the middle of war. You see what's happening is you're walking and you, it didn't hit you. And you're walking here and you're walking here, didn't hit you. And you walk over here, it hit you. Oh Lord, you're in the bed. <laughs> Yeah. You got COVID. <laughs> it's just less people. No, mm -mm. we have to protect ourselves. We have yes. to. We have to. It's like an armor, but we've got to really protect ourselves, and that's why we have to go in, in, in within and look at our body and get to know our body and really go in and know we have the power. Right. Because we are the power. We're beautiful. 
Absolutely. We're nothing but love and energy. You know, all we want to really, all we want to do is laugh. We just want to laugh and play. And so they talk about us like that's something bad. But that's all nature does. So now we have to know we have the power, not give them the power. And we give the power just saying they. And they did this. And they control that. And we think they have the power. No, no you don't. Consciousness and energy is the nature of reality. And you can change anything. You could be on the phone and it's a bill and you don't have the money, right? And you're talking to that lady and that lady's saying, well, you gotta pay or we're gonna cut your phone off or your lights off, whatever it is. You say, okay, I'll call back. You hang up and you say, no. <laughs> and then you call back and you get another person and she gives you a payment plan. Because we got it. <laughs> we manifest everything and it's only a thought. You just have to feel it. You have to feel it. You got to see it, know it, and act like you're experiencing it. It could manifest like that. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> I, I testify. And I always say thank you. Like I was looking for something and I said, oh, I'm going to find it. Don't worry, Ma, you're going to find it. And I looked here and I looked there, couldn't find it. I said, okay, stop. Don't get anxious. You're going to find it. And my purse all the time. <laughs> it was just, it's a zipper in the back and it was in the back part of the zipper. But I still gave thanks. I gave thanks with much gratitude because I found it with a credit card so I really need to find it. Like, okay, where are it? What did I do with this? <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I really can't call Sasa and say, oh, I lost these credit cards. <laughs> no. But you could manifest. It's like the apartment that I'm in now, I saw that. I said I want wood for stainless steel. I want windows from the ceiling to the floor and that if I'm going to live in New York, not, not that I want to live in New York or love New York, but at least let me be able to look out. And so now and that's what I got. I got. I, I keep giving thanks. That's. I mean, I live in a box, in a glass box. <laughs> but so, because uh, it's glass all the way around. I could see. I could see east, south. Did West and North. Did Sabi really live in a glass house in Honduras? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, Ma, <laughs> yes. there's someone in the chat that testified and said, I have the HC21. My brother was in the hospital. He said he had pneumonia. The doctor said he wasn't getting oxygen to the cells. I made him drink the HC21 with Fuji water. And in two days, he went home. Mm -hmm. You see? So you see, I was a lion. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much <laughs> for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you graciously.